Well, hello everybody, March Madness. It's almost upon us. We're already the night when I'm recording this video, so less than four days away from Selection Sunday, three days away from Selection Sunday. I'd like to show you another iteration of the master, uh, the entrance bracket that you can send out to people in your tournament if you're running a tournament. These videos are generally for people that are running their own March Madness bracket tournament. They are doing it for their office or friends and you can't get people to go on sign on on ESPN or Yahoo. You can't get them to do it. You gotta give them a paper bracket or in this case you can email them something. Uh, you can email them a Google Doc or an Excel file. The Excel file is the main master file if you're going to be using any of uh, any of these files to run your tournament, you're going, to, you're going to want to have Excel to use the master bracket to do all the scoring once all the games come in. But for your entrance and the people in your tournament, you can send them an Excel file. Or if they don't have Excel, you can now send them a Google Doc. And that's what this video is about, or Google Sheet, actually. So this is the Google Sheet. And uh, you can get access to this sheet. I can give you the rights to download a copy of your own file so that you can host your own file and then send that link out to the entrance in your tournament. The final Google Sheet will be ready on Selection Sunday night after I can update this. So I'll be sending out an email to you or an update to you if you uh, click the link in the bottom of the description here and you want to have access to this file and copy this file and use it for your own tournament. There will be the final updated version of this on the 12th, on the night of the 12th. So what you can do in here in this Google Doc is you want to have the entrant type in their name here, right? Then you want to have um, the teams here are coming in automatically from another sheet called custom team names. If you want to customize your team names after this is updated, then you'll do it in this yellow column in the middle because uh, that, you know if you, don't, if you don't want Villanova to be called Villanova, you want to call them Nova or something, then if they're in Region 1, which might be the West, we'll see what it is when it actually gets finalized on the 12th, then you would, you would type Nova here and you would then uh, have Villanova would change on the master sheet here. Then it's, it's pretty easy pickings. You're just going to go through and choose with the mouse. There's nice validations here in Google Sheets. Google Sheets have really progressed well over the last several years. Uh, this wasn't as easy to do years ago. So the first year I've done a Google Sheet uh, as a supplement to the Excel file because it was so simple to create. So Florida, Baylor, Oregon, picking teams. Now you'll see that over to the right, um, things start to show up in pink if you need to make a pick or if the pick is wrong. For example, if you pick a team and then you go back and you say, oh, in the previous round, no, I really want to change this. And I think that, that Kansas is going to be Villanova. You'll see that Villanova turns in pink because it can't be uh, a choice because you haven't had them win in the first round. So it was, things will show up in red if they don't match what they should. That's a nice addition to this file. So. Once this thing is entirely filled out, all of the team names are going to get placed at the bottom here in this list of grid right here, this list. And within this list, when it's all filled out, you'll just copy this list. You know, say that your entrant fills out their file. They either save it on their own drive and give their own Google Drive and give you access for it uh, to it, or you can uh, save a copy on your drive with this person saying, say, I want this to be your entry file, go in and fill it out. And then you can just take it from them when they're done. You know, so it'll be on your drive. You got a couple different options that I can think of for accessing this file within Google Docs and then adding this area right here. This is the area that you're going to add to your master bracket. And there will be other master bracket videos for this year. And if you're already getting this, then get on my list and I'll get you information about the master bracket, which I'm selling this year. Um, depending on how many entrants you have, it could be just 10 or 20, 25 bucks is, is pretty much the most I charge for any real field size. And uh, you can get a copy of that and it will make your it will make your days go by so much faster because nothing's worse than having to score 80 of these by hand on a Tuesday night because everyone's asking for them. It sucks. This thing makes it automated and it's done literally in, in minutes when you fill out the results. Uh, and it automatically scores everything. So this is the Google Doc version. Look for the link in the description. And if you have any questions, please email me, ken at kensock.com. And happy March Madness.